Hello everyone, uh, this is Shiva Shankar again from Safety Hunt. In this video, I am going to explain you about the concept of uh, LEL which stands for uh, Lower Explosive Limit and uh, UEL Upper Expo Explosive Limit and uh, the detectors involved in, the, in it, both UEL and LEL. And one of the important questions I have been asked uh, several times uh, during the interview is that uh, is it possible to detect uh, UEL values uh, uh, upper level UEL values using uh, this our multi gas detector uh, which is normally LEL detectors is it possible so I went through the internet there had been a uh, lot of videos and explanations about U LEL and UEL concepts so nowhere I have found uh, the answers to this uh, interview questions what I got uh, but uh, I came up with a possible solution and a concept which suggests that uh, LEL detectors are not at all capable for uh, measuring these UEL values. So let me tell you first of all what is uh, LEL in a simple concept. Uh, LEL is a flammable mixture of uh, gas or vapor in a concentration which can burn or ignite uh, when there is uh, external heat sources involved. So this is the minimum concentration which is LEL if uh, UEL is that value above which uh, the, the ignition will not sustain even if the um, external ignition source is introduced so that value is uh, UEL so to explain it more I have a little diagram here for your understanding so if you see this here the diagram suggests which is LEL. LEL is a lower explosive limit where the gas value, the vapor of the gas or a vapor of the liquid will be of less amount and the oxygen will be of higher amount. So at this point it will burn because uh, for uh, burning we need uh, three elements of fire which we already know, uh, fuel, oxygen as well as heat. So oxygen will be much more here uh, to burn but the fuel quantity will be so minimum to burn below this LEL value. So when this LEL comes, I mean in this region, it will have a good quantity for burning, uh, I mean appropriate quantity so which will burn readily from this point and uh, which is which we known as uh, LEL. So below LEL there is no possibility of burning. So above this up to the UEL it will burn. So above UEL what will happen? The gas value, the gas value becomes very uh, high but uh, the oxygen which is uh, one of the element for uh, making the fire will be very low for burning. So uh, the ignition will not sustain and it will uh, go off. So the appropriate uh, range for flammable is between this LEL and UEL, between this region the vapor will burn, below LEL and above UEL the burning will not sustain and because which I just said here the gases will be, yeah, vapor will be so low below the LEL and here the oxygen will be so low above the UEL. So this is why, in, if you see in the normal multi-gas detector we, we can have the value of uh, oxygen, carbon monoxide, H2S as, as well as this LEL. There they have taken the reference of, of methane. Uh, the LEL value will be measured from 5% to 15% which is a UEL value of uh, methane. So up to 5% it will not, uh, the alarm will not give. So when it reaches the 5% definitely the alarm will go on and uh, we'll have uh, three kinds of alarm i mean uh, indication which is a light uh, sound and a vibration and up to the uel value it will measure the question really is what happens to the lel detector when this uel value is go above what about 16 17 18 percentage is it possible to detect uh, uh, you know in lel detector that was the question asked to me during the interview I said no but I couldn't give the logical answer at that time but when I went through the internet I didn't get a proper idea of that one but there is a possible solution for that I mean the idea behind it is 
uh, in a multi gas detector you know this uh, oxygen value should be from uh, 19.5 to 23.5 percentage so below 19.5 and above 23.5 it will uh, give the alarm of the indication uh, for burning we need at least 16 percentage uh, of oxygen for a normal combustion so below 16 percentage uh, this uh, ignition will not sustain and the fire will go off so uh, when it comes to the LEL values it will detect from 0 up to 15 but the alarm will not be on up until it reaches 5 percentage when it reaches 5 percentage alarm will turn on so when the it goes beyond 16 and 17 percentage I mean above 15 percentage definitely the oxygen level will go down first so the oxygen level will go down so before turning on this UEL alarm the oxygen low level alarm will turn on definitely so below 19.5 percentage definitely the oxygen alarm uh, will be on and uh, we won't get this UEL value at that time so what will happen so to detect this UEL definitely we need a detector which will work on low oxygen environment as well I mean uh, for uh, uh, our multi gas detector is only capable when the air is uh, good and the oxygen value is in perfect amount so at that time only our uh, multi, multi gas detector will work so it will not work in uh, oxygen deficient environment we need a specialized detector to detect this UEL which has a capacity to work in oxygen deficient environment itself so this is the possible answer gentlemen which I found uh, over the uh, internet somewhere but uh, this is the only solution I think is uh, available uh, and uh, also I have given some of the values of uh, I mean oil and gas uh, gases and uh, all these values of uh, LEL and UEL which you can see C actually CH4 is methane which already have 5 to 15 percentage it's already given in uh, our uh, multi gas detector this is the range of multi gas detector which is calibrated for the quantity of methane in the air but apart from this ethane C2H6 is ethane which has a 3 percentage of LEL and 12.4 percentage of LEL and gasoline is nothing but uh, petrol uh, which has a 1.2 percentage to 7.1 percentage and C3H8 which is a uh, propane which has a 2.1 percentage to 9.5 percentage and C4H10 is a uh, butane which has a uh, 1.8 percentage to 8.4 percentage and uh, C5H12 is pentane which has a uh, 1.4 percentage to 7.8 percentage and uh, H2 is a hydrogen which has 4 percentage to 75 percentage LEL and UEL and the CO is carbon monoxide which has 12.5 percentage to 74 percentage and uh, H2S is uh, 4.3 percentage to 45.5 percentage of LE and UEL so we know that uh, 1 percentage is equal to 10,000 ppm so what it means so 5 percentage if uh, in air 5 percentage of uh, LEL is available then it has a capacity uh, to ignite when there is a sufficient oxygen in place and uh, in the presence of heat source as well so this is the concept behind gentlemen if you like this video please subscribe it and if you have any clarifications on what i have said so far you can comment me down and i'll be happy to reply